in our options under general devices and virtual reality tablets. So for now I'm going to turn that off. But you know where that's at now. So now that we feel pretty comfortable navigating the, the three-dimensional model, um, I just want to talk a little bit about, uh, just very briefly about, um, if you lose the model, um, I've seen this happen a lot where, where someone is, uh, has zoomed in too far and they, don't, they can't locate the model anymore and all they see is a blank screen. So how do I get back to that? All right. That's very simple. Um, there's a button right here in the lower left uh, that's called Fit All or uh, sometimes in some programs it's called Zoom Extents. So if you press that, it's going to take you right back to the center of your model, um, showing you everything that's, that's contained in that model. And that's, that's pretty useful. Um, I've seen this happen a lot where people are navigating around and they don't know where they've ended up. So you can always just return right back by clicking that Fit All button. Now, right now, um, I'm in a non-perspective view. Um, I'm basically in an isometric view of the model. Um, if I wanted to be able to uh, look at it, the model in perspective, then I, I would switch to my perspective projection, which is down here at the bottom, close to the middle of my toolbars. So if I click that, I'm going to switch to a perspective view. And actually, one way this is useful is my general rule is that while I'm working on the model, um, I work at it, I work on it in parallel view because things in general uh, look proportionally correct. Um, it's easier to, nothing gets distorted by, by the perspective view. But um, if I want to be able to look inside the model and get inside without um, hiding a bunch of uh, elements in the model, and I just want to be able to look inside. So I change that per to perspective view. Because this way, when I zoom in, I can zoom right through into the inside of the model. So you can see now I'm actually inside the model. And this is something that you have to be in perspective mode to be able to do. So general rule is if you need to get inside the model and, look and examine some small detail, whether it might be some kind of beam condition in one of your floors, then you want to be in perspective mode, which is down here. And, and otherwise, um, my preference, and I think a lot of people's preferences, uh, preferences is to work in parallel view in general because it doesn't have that added uh, distortion. One other quick thing when you're in perspective view is you can change the degree, uh, the, basically the, the, I guess in, in photographic terms, the, the, uh, the length of the lens. So this, this basically gives you more distortion less distortion, the closer you get to zero, the more parallel the view is. So again, I, I got that to that feature by clicking my change view angle down here, and I can drag this, this arrow around to change the perspective. <clears throat> so, um, I'm going to switch back to parallel view. And one other quick thing uh, while we're dealing with navigation is uh, we have some preset, there's some preset views um, located at the bottom here. And one of the first, um, if you want to be able to look in plan view, basically you have these, these cubes and the side of the cube that's filled in is the side that you'd be looking from. So in this case, this is top view. I click it. And it takes me straight to a top view of the model. Um, there's also uh, side views, right, left. 
And again, you can kind of tell just based on the icon where, where it's going to take you. Okay, so now um, I want to get into the model tree and how that's related to, to the three-dimensional model. <clears throat> if you notice, um, the model, uh, basically, if I, if I highlight a part of the model, um, I see the tree highlighted over here. Um, it should be highlighting in, in orange. And, uh, and if I highlight the, the, the tree, then I see it highlighted in the model. So there's this back and forth relationship between the model and the tree. So first thing I can do is if I want to be able to, if I'm looking at something in the model and I want to be able to find it in the tree, um, I can mouse over, say, here's a, a piece of the facade of the building. And all I need to do is right click on that and say center graph. And if I click that, it's going to take me, it's going to recenter and take me straight to that product. Now, this might be a good point to talk a little bit about what a product and a part is. Now, a product, it's very easy. It's very, you know, sometimes people get a little confused about what parts and products are. It's very simple. Products are like folders. And parts are like the files contained within the folders. So if we look, if we look at this um, at this tree, everything that we see for the most part here are products because they contain other geometry, or they, con they contain other files. So if I if I expand my MAR building one podium product, then I see within it that it contains um, several other products. Uh, and these products contain files, and these part files, if I drill down far enough, um, basically, uh, if I expand it, see it, it doesn't, uh, it doesn't show me the file, but that's only because, uh, right now, we're looking at the model um, we're not looking at the model in an editing mode, we're looking at it in a visualization mode. So if I double click a part and go inside the, the part, I'm able to, to expand. And so now I'm looking inside the part, which in this case is my building one podium level one structural slab. <clears throat> That's what the STR SLB stands for. So this uh, this is basically the file which contains the actual model geometry, and then the files um, that we see located higher up in the tree are products which contain and help to organize those parts. And it's very important that they're, that the parts and products are organized properly because, in general, it makes um, for an easier time uh, working within a team. <clears throat> and, um, and it also makes it uh, smoother to collaborate um, and find elements within your model. So I'm going to go back up. I'm going to close that that part for now. But we see that it it uh it shows up a, the icon shows up a little differently because this particular part is open and ready for editing while the rest of the model is is only in visualization mode. So Let me uh, let me 